<clears throat> Excuse me, I, I have a little bit of a, a throat problem, but I'll do my best. Um, I come to you as the uh, thank you. Can you give me some water? I was yeah. trying to. It's out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to wait for you to drink water. We already uh, got you all right, going. All right. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm Dr. Gus Ray, is the executive director of the Christian Life Commission, and um, sorry about the voice today. We represent um, the Ethics and Justice Ministry. Thank you so much of the uh, Texas Baptist Convention with 2.2 million uh, uh, Texas Baptists and churches across the state. Yeah. And I need to say this to Senator Bettencourt and all of you, uh, Senator Campbell, um, hearing you today in this process makes me proud to be a veteran. I don't agree with everything that's been said or what I've heard, but I'm really proud to have served this country. Y'all made that worth it for me. Thank you. Thank um, you. I did want to say that the Christian Life Commission has two concerns. This is a little bit different than what you've heard, maybe. One about religious liberty concerns. Um, we, we believe that when state funds are allocated to pay for all religious education and not just Christian schools, we, we think that's a problem. Uh, we oppose using state funds to, to teach religious views, even our own. Uh, we, we like to have this an e equal playing field and if we want to pay for people to learn how to be Baptist, and we, we think we could do that without state funds. And the same thing for all groups. We, we'd like that to be an equal paying, uh, playing field. Also, ultimately, at the end of the day, um, religious schools that accept funding ultimately ought to be held accountable, but we don't like that either, uh, that they would be held accountable to to. TEA and, and laws, and so right now they have their own boards, they have their own accountability. We think that's valuable. Um, last but least, I'll make I'll, I'll close. The voucher system, what what has been referenced, really doesn't help the children who are in the greatest of need. We're talking about a few kids that have been referenced today, and there's so many that we ignore, and we're just concerned that this bill would would harm the least of these. And so we would just encourage you to, to think through uh, yeoman work for what you've done. I just think this is an, an awesome approach, but I am concerned about what it means for Texas kids. Thank you.